Hello buddy and today I'm back with another toy of you. This is gonna be a different one but I've done this in the past a little bit. Today I'm gonna be doing the um Blaze and Monster Machine set of five toys by KFC. So this is a Chucky Meal KFC toys. Now here's an issue. If you never know what Blaze and the Monster Machines are, um, you need to sort of watch the show because I, um, this is the warning. Spoilers to all that doesn't know this show. So, to all that know, please don't skip. So, um, let's just take a look at each one of this. So, um, I'm gonna go through over all of the figures from the one I first bought to the last one I bought. Now, there's a good deal here at the last one, but we'll talk about that later. But, let's just talk about it. Now, um, the first toy I want to pick up is Pickle. So, I picked up Pickle because I really like his personality. He's kind of funny and whatnot. So, let's just get rid of um, Crusher, Starla, um, Stripes here, and Blaze. Let's just get... And just focus on the vegetable her monster machine now pickle here as well sort of a pickle texture texture now we'll just leave, leave this track here because this has pickles now i love his looks um he looks sort of accurate to the movie uh i'm sorry to the show not the movie i don't think there is such thing as a blaze and mushroom <laughs> movie but the show um this is pretty nice i think i like it this is it's pretty cute now if you watch the show pickle appears only in some sh in some scenes now pickle is always with culture except for some episodes like once he were has teaming up with Blaze a little bit, and for once he's being everything and whatnot. Now I like the design. Now the gimmick is, or the action feature is, is that there is this track right here. You flip it upside down like this, and then you're supposed to put Play-Doh in it, and then like you put Pickle in the he's and try to see if he made tracks or not, like these little tracks thingy hang on let me try to get to pick that up anywho there are some like little bit tracks here you could sort of heal there's sort of a little bit of track there um pickle meant to roll here but the play-doh unfortunately is not included which is too bad because mcdonald's actually include like i believe like mcdonald's include play-doh on some of the play-doh toys so it's too bad, but I like Pickle the most because, well, he's my favorite character in the show. Now, the second one I bought, I had to go with Crusher. Now, if you want to know in the show, he has like a little bit of a uh, bent tubes. Now, he is so, mine is sort of broken. The reason why is because when I was taking it to bed with some of my other figures, um, this thing popped off um, and the curve portion here until a few days later this upper curver portion popped off and i lost it but uh, and then um this other one here it also pop hopped off but only the curve portion this one doesn't pop off so now i think i agree with it now the paint isn't as good as what you're seeing here but it looks absolutely fantastic i love how he has like um uh thingy like stripes going on um and also there's a feature which we'll talk about and it looks absolutely marvelous now these absolutely looks great and i like how they're really accurate to the show now the gimmick or the action feature is that right here we we see four wheels the the back does well just moves you know spins but the side, but the front here so the move side to side here as you can see side to side. Now, so if you want to turn cross around, now the gimmick is we'll just go for straight first and then we'll go for left and then right or maybe the opposite. I know. Um, it's that you take crusher in his um track 
and then there was meant to be like a gold paper, all, and then and then there was meant to be like a cardboard cutout. It's a, like a finish line saying gold. I'm sorry, gold, G O A L, gold. So he will win. All you need to do is just whack this here. As you can see here, there's a button here. And then there is this type of um, stuff here. All you need to do is place it in. Um, we'll try to do it in full angle, okay? Okay, let's do this. One, two, three. Alright, we'll try that again. So we're gonna try to widen the angle and we'll see if we could just do it. So we need to do one, two, there we go. That's a bang. So as you could just see right there, that's Kershaw's gimmick. Now let's try the dude off to the side because um we just need to turn the wheel like that. And I believe so it sort of turns to the side, but I don't think it will be picked on camera. So let's just get a little bit far away. So all you need to do is just turn these wheels to the side. And it sort of turns. I don't know why it doesn't work. I just need to adjust the wheels, I guess. So the turns, let's try on this angle. As you can see, there is so the turns, but not much. So it's a good toy, but not really. Let's stop. The one I bought next, it's Blaze and AJ. I don't know how you pronounce that, but we'll just focus on Blaze now because of the action feature. Which I can't even show you the action feature because um I lost the piece. But if there is, I'm going to re-review Blaze only and try to do the peace thingy action. Now, um, because of the action feature, it, again, we'll talk about that later. It is absolutely great. Now, let's just talk about this first. What do you mean? I'm going to start to the upper reddish body first because, well, it is very really accurate to the show, especially if you capture it in camera, but here's a really weird thing. At the upper portion is good, but because of the feature, the bottom portion is, I think it's a little too big. Like, it's only like meant to be like in this cut here or maybe like this cut it's not until the full bottom here so Cassie just wants to do the feature and say of like the accuracy I mean I think that's okay it's okay enough but hot but um the um uh like the design and the um feature i can accept it um it's okay i can accept it for sure um i mean it could be better but it's okay now the feature is, is that it has the pullback feature now hang on let me pause and find that piece until i can't i haven't got to, gonna do this so i can't really find the piece but yeah here's the gimmick all you need to do is pull it back and the the higher, higher one, the higher peg, you push it, you like, wind it, pull back. It's sort of just gonna do the, um, um, original straight one. But, when you're starting to do the, um, the smaller peg, you wind it up like this and then it's meant to um spin around like maybe like a top i don't know um if i find that piece ever uh, thumbs up and i will do a video of that piece and how the feature really goes 
Now we're just gonna go for stripes because I bought stripes and Starla at once. So I'm just gonna pick my favorites out the two and I stripes. Now he has the same gimmick as Crusher. You just need to push it, push him there, and then you just need to push the button like this. Hang on a second. You sort of place it back as back as you can, and then you just push the button like that. It launches. Now, what's really cool is that when I move stripes, hang on, look. I don't know if you could really see it, but hang on, let me try to pick it up much, 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 much more closer. So that why I move stripes front, if you see here. As you can see a little bit, he throws her wobbles up and down. But I'm not sure if the camera is really picking him wobble up and down. But he is really wobbling up and down, as you can see here. Now, the issue for strife is that... um. The details are great. Nothing is too, too bad aside from maybe the whiskers could be painted. The issue I have is that, the issue all of the stripes have, I think, is that um, this upper portion here, what's wrong? I mean, in the series, it is black. Um, that's not the issue. Not at all. The issue is that it's made out of a softer plastic. So right off the bat, you could sort of see it's sort of um, repositioned. I'm pretty sure the main, um, the regular one is going to be like that. Yes. But it's, so over time, if you put them in heat, this will warp and eventually like started to bend. So that is really awful so eh, I mean I could accept that it could be better but okay now Starless gimmick is the same but first off we're gonna take a look at the details now Starless detail is absolutely accurate to the show except for the lasso is meant to be like brownish paint but besides from that this figure looks great and just in case you want to know, yes, all of them use stickers for the eyes. So keep an eye out. Now the gimmick is the different one is that... It's same thing, you just need to push it like that and it launches. But it comes with this piece. This is a lamp. Trying to just uh, attach it, sort of. Hang on, let me try. And once you get the lamp to do it, she meant to sort of jump off the lamp and maybe just, you know, I have no idea. So all I need to do is just, let's see, we need to just push the button. Hang on, one more try, that was a failure. Hang on, one more try, please, Stella, please. Yes, that works. So, now here's an issue. When you buy both Stella and Stripes at the same time, um, aside from the lamp, aside from that one little lamp, if we take off that lamp, we take um, Stripes piece. You can see here. Which one is Stripes? Which one is Starless? Now, I mean, Crusher's is sort of different. The difference is that, well, as you can see here, he doesn't have the cut. He doesn't sort of have the cut for the um ramp. So both of them, you can't swap up the parts, but this one can. And that really explains the difference between Crusher and both of them, but it really doesn't explain. And the difference between both. So, 
Oh, and Blazedale is just rolling along. So I'll probably just do a stop motion, like slow motion video of these characters. My probably will do Blaze, but I don't know. So if I had to pick a favorite, I'll either pick your blaze cursor or pickle because all of them are cool so put in comments which one is the coolest and um that's i'm gonna do a little bit of a size comparison i believe it's like this one i guess so you need to take all of these on their waist tracks And now we're going to do a size comparison. Okay, get it? Get it. Okay, so first up, what I'm going to do is put on a two size comparisons in one. So I'm just going to pull, pull, pull these back. And I need to sort of get along the full angle, sort of. Just need to get the full, full, full. Okay, dude. Now, here is him with. I'm sorry, now here is them with Indoraptor and Blue Pack set. Um, as you can see here, um, they're pretty good. Uh, I mean, they're meant to be a little bit bigger, because, but because they're chunky meals. I can't agree more. This is actually a great scale. I like it. At least when it comes to the sizing. Now, I'm going to give them a tricky one. So I'm going to bring a few more. Here is him with one of my all-time best figures. And my all-time greatest figures. From NECA featuring... Necro Blastula, Atomic Blast, 2019. I'm also going to put the to my Toyo toy and Kamatakun in the background. See that? Unfortunately, Kamatakun is a very, 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 very small figure. Um, I mean, he's kind of long. Notice that. But aside from that... Now, I'm going to put out some real skinny. Here is him with the atomic, them with the atomic blast <coughs> of the Gasol 2019 and also the explosion. So, as you can see here, I like it. They pretty scale well. Not really, they don't really scale well, but I like they, they size up with some figures. Like, you could create your own imagination and creativity with these. So, it's only 18 minutes. So, that's the end of this video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment down below. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.